Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all well this fine day. The cast your minds back, those of you that have been here a while, you may remember we did the gold making series. Basically, we looked at the different dungeons, the different raids that were in WoW that you could easily solo, and we would look at how much gold you could make, how long they would take, and so on and so forth. Now, that was all good. And yes, we will be continuing that. I'm still going to go back and uh, we're going to finish that off. We're going to look at the sort of the later dungeons, those of Legion, that, that you can still do solo. But I was chatting to some guildies, and a couple of my guildies, because we're, we're a casual guild, we're just chill. Everybody gets to do their own thing. But some of them don't have a lot of flying mounts. Some of them have literally come back to WoW very recently. Some of them are very new players. and uh, But they don't have a lot of time to play, which is a kind of more... As the player base of WoW gets older, that's become more of a concern. Is that I don't have all this time. You know, it takes me. I've got an, I've got maybe two hours of an evening to play a little bit of WoW. I literally have an hour. That's that's going to take my dailies. I'm going to get all that done. But then I have maybe another hour. And one evening I might do my cloak upgrade. One evening I might do my M plus. So I've got a chest. But. You know, I then might have one other evening that I just want to chill, I want to go around, do some stuff, do some bits and pieces, and have some fun. But I don't have that long to do it with. So, that is where this comes in. This is a long introduction to this new series, and I apologise. But basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to look at what are the most effective, most efficient ways that you can go around you know, a zone. We've picked Northrend. Da -da -da. Spoiler alert for our first example of this, because Northrend is very... It's very efficient, it's very, it's a nice, small, compacted zone, it's got a lot of raids, a lot of dungeons, where you can get mounts, and we can make a nice circular loop. We'll be looking at Kalimdor, we will be looking at Eastern Kingdoms, and obviously TBC, Draenor, blah 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 blah. We were starting with Northrend because it's probably the easiest, and I want to see if you guys are interested in this as something that we're going to do more of going forward. So, general basic idea is, what is the most efficient way to do a loop to get the most mounts possible? Also making a little bit of gold on the side, which is always nice. And generally, it's going to take about an hour. Okay, that's our goal. We want the most mounts, potentially the most amount of gold, which is very much a minor factor, because the auction house, by, by far, is the best way to make gold. But how can we make get the most amount of mounts, get some gold, and, you know, it take no more than an hour, so I can do it in an evening. So let's get into this. Let's have a look. We're going to kick this off with Utgard Pinnacle. Oh yes, there is a name to my pain and it is Utgard Pinnacle. I've wanted this mount for a while now. Still don't have it. I've got most of the ones we're going to talk about here, but this one still eludes me. It's from Five Man Dungeon. It is heroic difficulty, so if you want to do it, you can do it daily. It took a mere four minutes to get it done. As you can see there, 219 gold. I will say we're not necessarily going for, you know, super clean... Picking up absolutely everything, so our gold is probably going to be slightly on the suboptimal side. The drop mount, or the drop chance for this mount is, yeah, 0.89%. And as I just said, I am feeling that RNG because uh, it still eludes me. So next up is a little bit of an anomaly, because realistically you're only going to run, you know, you're only going to want to run this once. It is at the very base of the Wormrest Temple, so you'll see a crack coming out. Just fly into that, right ahead of you will be a portal, dive into that. There is literally one boss, you're going to run straight to that boss, you're going to kill it and collect your mount. Da -da -da -da, as long as you don't touch the other dragons, you are all good, guaranteed drop chance, achievement, titles, everything else will be lavished upon you. As you can see, time taken, one minute, 167 gold, and yeah, the mount is going to drop for you. As long as you don't kill anything else, just run towards it, kill it, job done, it is all yours. Next up in our whirlwind tour, we're going to start heading over to the Borean Tundra and to the Nexus. This one can be a little bit weird, a little bit disconcerting because you basically go in, you want to fly into the Nexus and it'll be the portal right at the top, go through it and you will be taken onto a platform, kill the various things there and then the platform's going to break and you're going to have to be on the back of a red dragon. Yes, literally by this point you just need to use one ability, just use your fireball. And that's it. Fight over. Da, 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 da. Alex Straza will fly in. You'll be up. given a chest. Alex Straza's heart or something like that. I think it's called. And then you'll be able to get the portal straight out there. Literally, this takes no time at all. As you can see there, 
Two minutes was taken, 47 gold was made. There's no trash or anything. It's literally just you walk in, you kill boss, you are done, you walk out. So this one is super simple. Uh, it's not a huge favorite of mine. You can see there, drop try Alex Straza's gift. It's called the heart of Alex Straza. So yeah, this one is super simple, super quick to do. Um, and it drops a chance of one of two mounts. You can have the blue drake or, which isn't shown right here, is the Azura Drake. So yeah, a lot of drakes in Northrend. I prefer the Proto Drakes myself, but um, hey, if you haven't got it, still adds to the mount collection. There is no way, if you are anybody serious about collecting mounts, you do not know these next two raids. We have, of course, first up is the Ice Crown Citadel and the Reigns of Invincible. Now this one takes a decent amount of time, mostly because of RP type things that happen. You're ever waiting for lifts, or you've got the whole ship battle. Things like that. It's just, it is what it is, and it's big. It's big. So, you're going to be running around a lot. But it is well worth it. As you can see, 24 minutes, you're going to get 1,269 gold. Drop chance of the range of invincibles are 0 0.78. But it is well worth it. That is one hell of a mount. Speaking of amazing looking mounts, up next is, of course, Memron's head up in Old War. But... First up, remember that while you're flying through Storm Peaks, you have a chance at the time lost Proto Drake. There's a very, very small chance, but just be aware that it could be flying around. So yes, up in Ordoir, 16 minutes was taken. I am going to say with Ordoir, I cut out half the bosses. So when you go in, of course, you have to deal with the first tank boss. But then you have, uh, you have the Furnace Dude. Apologies, on I'm rubbish at bosses names. You have Furnace Dude, and you have the Flying Dragon. I always go straight for XT. I cut out the middlemen. Again, I go straight through the bridge boss. I don't worry about Star Cooler. I'm going to get that horribly wrong. Or the three Dwarven Council people. Apologies if you're an RP person or Blorish. I apologize. I can't remember the names. I just remember the amount of times I had to run this to try and get them out. All you want to do is if you're worried about getting this one, is literally just don't click on anything. Don't do anything. You're going to see four keepers around the main chamber. Just don't talk to them. Leave them be. Go and kill yorks are on and you are all good sorted that's all you have to do as long as you do this without the aid of the titan constructs you're good okay you are all good and this is a fantastic mount as i say the ice crown and all are probably the best two mounts i personally maybe apart from ashes ashes is pretty incredible but yeah these are two of my favorite mounts of all time now that is our little loop done, but as we were speaking about before, we don't realistically need to do the Obsidian Sanctuary. You've got to do it once, get the mount, job done. So why don't we create a little path? Because now we've got that that long travel distance across Northrend, we can add in a little bit of extra time doing something else. And there's no mount here, but there is a little bit of gold, some nice transmogs. Any of you know that location? Yes, we are talking about Naxxramas. So we can fill in between doing Uldar, and doing the pinnacle we can actually add in naxrama so as you can see here there's no mounts there is a ton of transmogs there's a ton of pets as well in there which could all be sold so take the amount of gold that you can see on the screen now the 1609 gold with a pinch of salt because that obviously doesn't include things that potentially could have been put in the auction house or that we could have got the most amount of gold from but it's still for 23 minutes it's the same length as ice crown it's a decent amount of time mostly because you're working your way through a wing clicking teleporting back and then working your way through again so it does take a little bit of time i reckon you could probably squeeze out 2000 gold but it just fills that nice little gap there between going to order then flying down south to Utgard pinnacle and finishing off entirely up to you you could really shorten this up if you literally just wanted to do you know if you were to do the eye then you want to do ic then you want to do order job done three really nice mounts and if you don't want the pain of what well, I've had to suffer doing it, God Pinnacle. Damn you, gods of RNG! But uh, that is me done as a general. I will do a little video on each one of these. Just to show very quickly how you can go through them. Has the fastest way to run them. If you're not interested in the gold that drops. And also vice versa. So what are we missing? What are we not What are we not min-maxing here? Oh, do we want speed for the mount? Do we want the gold? And that kind of thing. But that is me done as a gentleman. This is a new thing that I want to try out. So please, by all means, leave feedback, leave comments. If you like it, subscribe because we'll be doing more of this. But yeah, your feedback is important. Let me know if there's enough information, not enough. If you want more, what things you do want to see, so on and so forth. Always good to get feedback. But that is me done as a gentleman. Have an amazing day. And I'll catch you all tomorrow. Have a good one.